Hello everyone, welcome to round one. I guess we'll keep this hand. I don't like it. It's got too many high drops and not enough land. So. I love it. <sighs> Shut I up. I think this hand's excellent. Shut up, John. No one asked for your opinion. <laughs> actually, I guess I probably did. That's why you're here. But... <laughs> okay, that land <laughs> actually does do a lot, and Moto is moving slow as shit now. Moto, why are you being a cranky, temperamental, like, two-year-old? <laughs> are you, like, as old as, like, most of us? <laughs> How old is Moto? Moto is... Ten, what? Ten years? Is it only ten, ten years? years old? I thought it was older than that for some reason. When, when did Moto first come out? Um, I'm not sure. Someone figured this out, because I'm bored, and I'm playing Magic. Wait, what? <laughs> 2002. Oh, wow. It's a lot younger than I thought. Or older than I thought. Or both. Point being, Moto's old and young at the same time. Fuck you, Moto. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. Wait, that means Moto's half as old as us. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Wait, am I old? <laughs> yep. Crap! <laughs> uh, I guess I swing into this, because if you block the catalog... This then... seems bad. Why? He, he can't activate this effect. And then I'm playing a 3-3. Three, three. He should double block. Double block? I yeah, guess. why not? He didn't want to lose his veteran Cathar. I would have double blocked. I didn't think he would. So. Ah, Grispin. That card is sort of sometimes a card. So he'll hit us for like three and then six and then it'll be gone missing. Well, and then, uh, then his guy will be sacked and Okay, then. Well, this is where all the green-white guys went. <laughs> I might need to reboot Moto in a sec. This thing's moving real slow. Yeah. yeah. So... Oh, yeah. So, Pius of Angle came out, and we're sitting here passing, I think? To flip the Breakneck Rider? Good catalog. What? Then catalog? Yeah, then catalog on his turn, yeah. Ugh. It's the best we have, I think. Ugh. Yeah, I know you don't like it. Alright, so maybe if he just gives us double strike, we can catalog into Fiery Temper. Uh, sure, take three. Ugh. These guys are really good. Yep. <laughs> now here's the opportunity. No, I should have cut all like there. Oh, to try to kill one? Prior yeah. to that resolving? I need to yeah. turn off the auto yields. <laughs> I got lazy and turned on auto yields, and it, it was not great for us. Uh, we wouldn't have cataloged in anything useful. Uh, I think I discard the scab so I can bring it back later. Yep. Oh, I guess I just gone missing this guy? Gotta do it. The unfortunate part is then he just pays four mana and returns that onto like one of these guys. Because it just come it goes right back to the battlefield on the guy. Yeah. Do I just smack with this thing? He just snapped double block. Yeah, and loses his wolf and gets this guy bigger. Oh yeah, no. We have to... What does he snap double block with? Because these can't flip right now. They require two mana to flip. With just two of those, or that and the wolf? And then we take out these guys, which is good for us. 
We could swing with all of the with both our guys. So then he attacks back for a lot. For seven. More than that. Two, four, six, seven. <clears throat> you can sack a wolf, transform both of those things. Grow the mob. Drain us. It doesn't drain until after the it's flipped. Mm -hmm. I think we actually do get in there. He's only got one card in hand. And we know what he's drawing next turn. I'm thinking we might actually... How are you winning a race? Uh, with gone missing repeatedly a bunch. <laughs> I don't know. He can literally just do nothing and beat us. I think we could just swing with this guy and they might actually sure. be fine. Because we know he doesn't have any tricks, so he's probably just taking two, because he's at 26, and he's just like, whatever. And if he does double block, we get to kill something useful. Yeah, so. I think that was fine. He should have double blocked. Why? What's double blocking get him? A plus one, plus one counter? Yeah. Kills our guy and gets a plus one, plus one counter. And then let's say he sacks the wolf, then he can attack. I think I press for answers here. Alright. That way we have clues to use. And it gets the prowess trigger. Hmm. Do we swing here at all? He can't pump his guys. Or he can't pump the wolf, and the wolf's not attacking next turn. Yeah, it's the same attack as the last turn. I think we can actually get in with the breakneck rider this time, though. I don't see how that makes sense, because you're trading three for five when he's at double our life. We're trading five for a lot more, because we'll attack with the break neck, or neck breaker. We can't race him. I think he's gaining two life. What's he, oh, because he has the Cathar? Yeah, he's gaining... The Cathar, what? The Cathar, which we put on top of his library, the veteran Cathar. Yeah. He's going to be gaining a bunch of life. I think we have to try to get in there, though. Because if we just keep sitting here, we're not getting anywhere. Okay. And we could, and we get to use the, we get to bring back the Stitchwing Scab, too. And if he, and if he does double block, then we get it, get to actually get somewhere. So. I think basically what we have to do is just keep trying to punch through something. Because if we don't, we're just sitting here being stagnant, yeah. and that's not helping us either. I think it's fine being stagnant, because we'll have six cards in hand, and we'll eventually beat them on quality instead of, now we're just going to get hit by drains eventually and die. Well, you can always gone missing the drain guys, because they don't drain until guys are dying after they're flipped, and then he's out of sack outlets. Yeah, but okay, here, go to five, and then... Well, you mean next take, sex, take then five, go to six. Yeah. And then we can gone missing the wolf. So if we would have stayed back, we would have taken one or zero. Hmm. Do we... We could bring back the Stitchling Scab this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11. Wait, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But then we die. Hmm. Oh, right, because the end the two life gain. Yeah, there is no way we're ever racing him this game, so attacking both of those terms didn't no. do anything. Well, now here's the question. Do we bring back the Stitchwing Scab to have an extra guy on the field, or do we draw cards? can draw one card first. Well, the Stitchwing... Oh, yeah, because it only costs two to bring back. 
might you bring, Fiend? I think we'll bring back Stitchwing Scab for Jibbering Fiend and Land, I guess? Yeah. I mean, I don't no. think we're winning on quality of cards here. His cards are just stronger. Rattle Chains. So, deal with the Flyer. So we can block the Quilled Wolf in the air. We can block those. I think we can survive at least a turn here. Okay. So I think we just pass and have our flash flyers up. Yep. The fact that he can give things his humans double strike is kind of annoying, but costs a lot of mana to do. Well, if I were him at this point, I would just pass and sack sack, like harvest hand. And what would that do? It'd make a three three mob? Yeah. And then he and then he could have the drain effect up, I guess, but then he has to start losing guys to get the drain effects. We're at six, and double drain does not take a very long time to kill us. I suppose. Like if he just goes sack sack, next turn he can just suicide everything. And we die. Now here's an interesting thing. He has the pump yeah, effect for the wolf. It. We could flash we in the Stormrider Spirit and double block. Or rattle chains. Uh no, we have to have six toughness or six power. Oh, plus six plus six. Well, yeah, that's what we gotta do then. Yeah, because it's plus four plus four, which makes it a seven six, so. Since we know he has no cards in hand, this is exactly what he wants, but it's the only option we have here. <sighs> so now he'll pump, and then next turn he gets to bring back the thing on one of his other guys. Yeah. But then Rattle Chains can come in and do its stuff. Okay. Now, so he's, his next turn is going to be spent bringing this back to make another flyer, right? Yep. Most likely. So, do we just, I guess we just play Homunculus, have Rattle Chains, and the clue up? Sure. Because no matter what he makes into a flyer, we can block with rattle chains. And actually this works out best for us because it gets rid of the damn mob. <laughs> yeah. This dude really should just be sacking stuff. Well, he should have flipped... He probably should have at least flipped one of them a while ago, maybe, but... Like, sack the harvest hand. That... Grow the mob. Well, actually what he should have done is sack the harvest hand, given the mob menace, and then... He's gonna do it now. do it now. Oh, he's sacking the flying enchantment to do that. Interesting. Why did he not sack harvest hand? To grow the mob. I don't know. Alright. Well... We Could, kind of have outs. Now, here's the question. Do we kill this? Okay, so what's he going to do next turn? Is he going to go Griff's Boon on the 2-4? Or is he going to go Griff's Boon on something else? If he goes Griff's Boon on something else, we fiery temper the thing. Yeah. Hmm. How much? Yeah, we have 7 mana. Hmm. Could... Uh, could gone missing the two four, but then he griffs boons gets in for three. Puts us to two. Mm -hmm. And then he has to work on reflipping his wayward disciples. I think we just respond to whatever he griffs boons probably. Yeah, 
We have and to it, hope he doesn't put it on the 2-4, I think. If he puts it on the 2-4, we go to 2, and then we have to put the 2-4 on top of his deck as a 2-2. Two -two. Which isn't great for us, but it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. I think that's fine. We'll just blow this guy up. And then he'll sack it to his other disciple to flip it. Which will then drain us down to four. Yep. Hmm. Griff's been <laughs> Strange card. <laughs> well. I think I gotta do this so that way he can't double strike a flyer next turn. <laughs> Good spoon plus plus one plus one beats us. Not on one of these guys. Theoretically. That's four power. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. We could put it on the scrounge scythe. But then if he <laughs> could put the scrounge scythe on top of his deck. <laughs> Actually, then just suiciding everything kills us. It does it? Yeah, it's whatever Wayward Disciple or another thing comes to the yard. Right. So he swings with both his guys. Or with all his guys. We killed one of them or two of them. Go to two. No, he just puts Chris Moon on the 2 4 and then swings with everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got a scoop to time here. Yeah. We're in 10 minutes. Yep. Scoop to time, mainly also because of the stupid intermission when my computer started to go stupid. Yeah. Uh, but also, we took an unnecessary 7 damage that game by attacking there. Yeah, that was my bad. Alright, I think we just... Well, do we have any changes here? No. We, none of these cards are good, except maybe Hulking Devil could come in. I'm going to submit. I don't think our yeah. deck our deck is not actually all that great. <laughs> in a in a format where there can be decks with huge amounts of synergies, our deck is kind of eh. Yeah. I think red green is actually one of the weaker or red blue, sorry, is one of the weaker archetypes you can end up in. Um yeah. blue green I think is the strongest, black white kind of follows right along that trend. Uh to just launch out a sanguinary mage here. Because yeah, this... the sleep paralysis don't match up well with any of his cards. Uh, it matches up good with Griff's Boom. <laughs> yeah, but if he ever draws one of the clerics, he just stacks it. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Alright, get in there. Play another one. <laughs> Let's see. So if we draw land, we can go Mad Prophet. We can play that. Um, I guess I swing because worst case he pops this and doesn't do it, and we don't care. Yeah. Hmm. See, the thing is, our deck really needs to, like, press whatever few advantages it can get. But, like, the g last game where he had double of the Cleric Disciple guy, it just really got out of hand for us. Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. That's a thing. You played Amprin Technician, I Inspiring Captain, because... Yep. Whatever. Do I just... Interesting. Sleep Paralysis this thing. And get in for three, four, five, six, seven. Seems okay. Yeah, I think that's the call. Now these I will I am allowed to auto <laughs> trigger to and just be like, no, stop it. Alright. So this actually could force him to hold back here a bit, which is nice. Hmm. At least he doesn't have Sigarda. No, we know he doesn't have... Naturally... Well, we hope he doesn't also have Sigarda. 
<laughs> he at least doesn't have our Sigarda. <laughs> right. One guy. Makes me think he has a pump spell. Do we still just jam? Or do we maybe like flip our breakneck rider and like flash and rattle chains? I think we might want to flip our breakneck rider. Yeah. Because this gives us an option to break through his meager defenses. Hopefully meager defenses. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Sort of. Kind of. Still holding up three mana. At least three mana. He's holding up four right now, which is double strike mana, but... Only getting in... Okay, I was gonna say, and only getting in with the one guy again, huh? What three mana tricks? Well, we know the... Okay, so he has four mana, not three. But three mana tricks could be the plus one, plus oh, indestructible card. Among other things. I'm saying three because he did... He had three last turn that he decided right. to use. Right. Well, that's three mana. Four mana gives him double strike on a guy, too. Um... I think we just swing out here. I don't really see too much that could go off with it. I mean, there's... There's aim high, which would be plus two, plus two, and untap a guy, and give it reach. Yeah. But I think we gotta try to press the advantage here and just get in there. I'm thinking he might just like block and block the neck breaker and double strike a guy. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, this seems weird. Why would you double yeah, I don't know. Okay. It doesn't change the we're gonna kill the Cathar. Plus one, plus one, and lifelink card, maybe? Plus one, plus one, and lifelink? No, it's the plus, yeah, plus one, plus oh, and indestructible. That's why I was thinking it could be. So it was three mana, yeah. It still kills the thing. Well, it killed the secondary guy, and it, uh, put him to one, so. You didn't play another thing there? I'm gonna flash in Silent Observer. It does not have flash. It does have flash. It has flash! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it doesn't have flash. I'm like, yes it does. That's funny. And it might be the one point of damage we need to win. Rattle Chains is a good card. Oh, or we can just oh. have Fiery Temper. Well, well, we'll try not to show the Fiery Temper, I guess. Yeah? yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I think Rattle Chains could have standard applications, but I just... it you got to find the right deck for it, and that's the problem. There's no other good spirits. They're definitely weak right now, but... Yeah, who knows. What well, you really need is, like, Geistasang Traft, but... <laughs> sure. Guys, the same draft has flash. Flash. <laughs> okay. Do we want a dual shot for the spirits at all? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it kills spirits. It kills any. It kills unruly mobs before they get bigger. Yeah. Maybe just cut the catalog because I know you hate catalogs. Yay! <laughs> it's like I know you hate catalogs, so we'll be we'll play nice with you right now. <laughs> Works better with prowess. Well, Drew the dual shot. Drew the dual shot, which would have been catalog, which actually would have been fine with this hand. <laughs> but we're going to keep, <laughs> especially since he mulliganed. So. Gaste Blast. Well, all right then. That's pretty sweet to copy dual shot. <laughs> to dual shot the everything's. Oh, this is awesome. Um, well, we have to wait a turn to kill it. Oh. 
Now this is actually pretty sweet. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling better about this. We have an attacker now. We're ready to get in there. I totally didn't even check. Can we actually trigger delirium in this deck? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, we have sorceries, instants, creatures, and lands, so I guess theoretically it's possible. It's just not likely. Oh, this could be interesting. I'm gonna attack and see if he, like, does some sort of double blocking. No? Oh, that would be hilarious if he had double blocked and gone, like, dual shot, 1 1. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I think we still I get to hold. We still get to hold up. Guys, here. Why? It's an instant. Uh, yeah, but he has indestructible cards, he has pumps, he has a lot of mm, things. Good point. Don't have to play your instance as instance, because now we can't even Geist Blast here. Yeah, I think we'll just take it. That's fine. You're right. Yeah, I probably should have just Geist Blasted um, on our turn because he was tapped out. Well, mm. I'll Geist Blast that thing instead. How about that? Make you feel better? We're going to kill everything. We're going to Geist Blast and then we're going to dual shot copying it. Yeah. So, Geist Blast this guy. And then dual shot copying. Yeah. So. You have to hold shift or control or whatever it is. Remember that? Yes, yes. Yep. Got to hold priority. And then play. Hooray. Aha! So. Boop, boop. Bam! <laughs> So is that a quad shot? Yes. <laughs> it's a dual dual shot. So quad shot. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> well, all right. He gets one thing off of that, and then I'm firing tempering the hell out of that thing. Yeah. Kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. All the fire. What if he has the pump plus for clues card? That would be so bad. Well, if he. Does I think with oh no okay cool uh, okay I guess I fl play this right now yeah ah fear our random plague wolf scourge wolf mm -hmm. no it's a it's a thing it's always just a first strike are those it's bottom jaws that are just like expanding yeah. sideways yeah it's pretty gross. Ugh. <laughs> huh, skunk monculus. That's why I've always called it for some reason. I don't know why. It's the skunk monculus. Hiya! If you're my prowess guy, that's a 1 3. Mmm, <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Told you I didn't yeah. like this. <laughs> Well, Could have been much worse. I guess it kills our guy, but eh. I guess he's got two cards in hand now, so me. We get to flash in our rattle chains. Ooh, that thing could get out of hand potentially. I guess yeah, he'll fl just... flash this and just start beating in the air. Yeah, he's gonna flip the Gossamonger. Yep. Hmm. Which is kind of a problem. Kinda. We could use, you know, like, drawing an answer to things. But probably draw land instead. Sacrifice a creature with flying. Okay, fine. Be that way. Well then, I'm going to pressure Gossamonger for answers. Because I'll still get a clue out of the deal. And they'll still be frozen down on your turn anyways. So. Thanks for letting me get in some extra damage. <laughs> crack the clue now, I guess. Yes, cracking clues. Clue crack. Also worth noting at five minutes because slowness tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Hotel internet. It's not the greatest thing in the world. 
Also, lots Gaza. of indecisive talking. What were you saying? Yeah. Gossip and Margaret's a real problem, I think. Is it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Boy, that's gotta be depressing for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a dirty card to draw. <laughs> God missing. Such a fun card. Chain him? Maybe. Maybe. Eh? Eh? Oh, come on. He's zero cards in hand. He's thinking. Oh, well, that seems all right. Huh. Oh. Oh, the dirtiness. So actually, we swing with all of our guys, and we just fiery temper to kill him. I think. Sure. Instead of you know the actual dirtiness that you were talking about, but. The end is near. It's not a heron in the moon. It's um all right, so this will trade here. This will trade here and then he'll be at one. Or yeah. We, we don't have to, we can just hold this here. That's fine. We can just be at five. Top decking versus our one three. It's a good top deck. I guess. Blocks our one three for a while. Yeah. I mean, we basically force him to have to use it. Oh, he doesn't block? So he dies? Yeah, the best move was not what we did there. But he didn't block. Oh, he didn't block. Yeah, so he dies. <laughs> right? Well, I probably mean... should have just discarded and fiery tempered and drew and then killed this guy. Whatever, I won. <laughs> we'll see you in round two. <laughs>